Okay, let's get right into the stock market technical analysis. Been about a week since I put out a video. I was on vacation, but I'm back at it to this morning. So we're gonna go ahead and go through, I'm gonna go through the kind of the broad markets. We'll go through some of these trade ideas I've pointed out, uh, and then we'll wrap up. So let's get right into it. Drop me a thumbs up. If you guys are interested in the private member group, all last week I was posting to the private member group. Um, just about every day I was posting something. So. Um, if you're interested in getting additional trade ideas, additional market insights, link in the description below of this video for the private member group. It's like five bucks a month. Okay, so triple Qs, guys. Not a whole lot of train change here on the tech sector in terms of triple Qs. You can see we're just kind of we're we're in, we're in a trading range right now. So if I just kind of circle that, basically we've got this trading range right here. We've been in it really for over a month. A um, little bit over a month now, uh, and that's it really. So we're just kind of, today we're just right in the middle of the trading range. So no change there. We'll just go ahead and move past that one since there's really no update on that. Um, XLK is another way to kind of look at the tech sector. You can see it's kind of highlighted there as well. So the, ne the next sell signal for XLK uh, will come on the break of the bottom of that support zone. Um, and it's about 204.34. And then back to the triple Qs real quick. Um, again, next sell signal comes on a break of the, the lower end of that, that support zone, which is about 433.50-ish right in there. Okay, so that is it on tech. Um, next largest sector, XLV, which is healthcare. We did get that sell signal on, um, this was on Thursday the 4th. You can see big red candle, big breakdown there. Um, a lot of that I think was probably due to ABV, ABBV. I did post that to the private member group as that was breaking support uh, as, as a potential uh, short short trade. Um, so there, this one's been broken. You can see we kind of were chopping, holding this support zone here and boom, big sell signal. So again, this is a sell the rips uh, sector now. So as you rally into resistance, the, it's an opportunity to short this thing as it continues lower. And then if I go down and look at that, Here's ABV, ABBV, big sell signal. I posted it saying, you know, we were basically breaking support right there on, on this one, a 176-ish. Um, you can see there's several reactions of support. Negative divergence was in play. And again, big breakdown. This thing was down on that Thursday, 5%. That's a big impulsive sell down, okay? So that's a sell signal. If it wants to rally back into resistance, that's the objective short right there now at about 175, 170, you know, 176, 175, 75. You want to step in a little bit early. You don't want to wait for the exact um, resistance level. Um, so that's a, that's an objective short. Or if you take out this support level at 168, okay? So that's that one. Uh, LLY is another one we've been uh, shorting. This one still kind of hanging in there, but still holding. You have this bearish engulfing candle from all the way back on February 20th. And this thing's really, that's been the top so far. It hasn't gone down, but it hasn't been able to take out that candle. It tried to once there, but ultimately you can see we're just chopping around, kind of floating. So we need to start breaking down you know, for more uh, confirmation to maybe add to this trade. But as of right now, you, you know, the top is in and it's about 170 or no, sorry, it's about 730 or 793.80 ish right in that level. Um, and yeah, that's it. A daily close above on a, an impulsive daily close above would be a would is that's where you'd want to stop out there. Um, but until we get that, we are on a sell signal on this one. XLF, um, financial sector. Uh, we've had a couple bearish engulfing candles. That's a bearish engulfing. That's a bearish engulfing. Ultimately, we're getting rejected at about 42. Um, and support, mm, I've got support all the way down here, but it, it, it's not a super clear sign of support. It looks like we do have a reaction right about here. So we'll just mark that out as the nearest support. It's about 4117. Um, and we're just right in the middle there. So no change on that one. Some of the big players in the financial sector, uh, Visa, JP Morgan, we'll cover that next. Visa, negative divergence. Again, this one, if you roll it way back, we've basically had, we were kind of going up holding this support zone here and I've kind of marked it up. Then we broke and we we're back testing from, from underneath, 
All right, and you know, back tested here, clear rejection. Down we go. We're at support or close to. Support's about 273.50. Um, so the next sell signal doesn't come until we break that. Otherwise, we can continue to kind of chop sideways. So we're basically near support. We need to break that in order for the next move down. If we break that, I think we're heading right down to the 200 day um, moving average. Uh, and that that's going to be around 255 ish. J, JP Morgan kind of hanging in there. Uh, again, here's your uptrend line right there. We broke support, been back testing. It's slightly above, but it, they're just barely kind of hanging on to that. So. I don't know. This one hasn't quite broke down yet. It has negative divergence. We need to see an impulsive rejection candle on this. Earnings coming up, so it's likely gonna, you know, you've got we've got earnings coming up on April twelfth, uh, so next week essentially. Um, or actually, what day is that? Uh, that's actually on Friday. I have to double check to make sure that's when the earnings actually reports. Uh, but earnings is coming up shortly, so likely gonna hang in there until earnings comes out wheat all right so wheat's starting to look okay here this is the wheat etn um you can see here on the daily chart there's you've got this bullish falling wedge um some bullish divergence showing up there we've also got extended bullish divergence from way back here so bullish divergence has been a condition on this one for quite a while all right it remains as a condition um, we have this wedge and we did break out on the wedge. All right, there's a little gap up. We're starting to break out. So it is on a buy signal, this one. It does, you know, we, we it was rejected in the past um, right here at about $6. You can see several re reactions there. Rejected, rejected, rejected. Um, kind of held support right through there. So that, you know, I, I think we, because we're on a breakout, I think we could eat, we're gonna probably run up to the $6, but we need to really take out the $6 for this thing to really start to run, okay? Because it's rejected there, that's that's pretty strong resistance at this point. So that's really the key level to see a major breakout, but I think this breakout here does set us up for a move up to six bucks. And if you look at the futures, here's the wheat futures. Let me kind of adjust this just slightly. Uh, you know, I had it like there. I was trying to capture maybe the most reactions, but let's see if we can't just make that fit right about there. Okay, so that's kind of consistent with that wedge. You've got resistance, resistance. You know, you've got this wedge building and a breakout on um, on Friday. So we it looks like it's on a breakout. I think we can run a little bit, um, but again, we got that resistance overhead. So that's where it, that's probably the first target on this one. 10-year interest rates, 10-year um, treasury yields, TNX, this is the interest rates. So again, we are still kind of trading above those highs right there at about 433. You can see breakout, kind of, they made it, you know, kind of back tested, but there's, rates are, uh, are moving up again today. So again, if rates continue to climb, market there should be pressure on the markets. You should see pressure on interest rate sensitive stocks as well as tech and all that. So home builders, let me flip over to that. Here's PHM. This one's just about to break down. It hasn't quite yet. So you can see on the daily, this is the entire rally in this one um, from October. You can see support, 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 and they're just barely hanging on to it, but they are hanging on to it as of right now, okay? You do have negative divergence, but you don't have that, that impulsive sell signal yet. Um, we were trading up here. I think the last time I video, did a video, we were up here and I said, ah, it's very likely it's going to fail. Sure enough, you know, sold down, gap down right to support. So there's the wedge. This is a bearish rising wedge with negative divergence and they're just barely hanging on to it. Interest rates pop up anymore. You're likely going to see this thing break down on that sell signal. And then you take the widest part of the wedge, which I've got, you know, it's about there. And wherever we break down, it's going to set us up. To me, it looks like a move down to the 200-day simple moving average. Okay, so that would be the measure target. It's going to be maybe around 94-ish, uh, and you also have good support right here. So you probably, the way I see it, is you probably quick move down to support at the first level of support. It's about 90. It's about 100 or so. Bounce there, and then a find a push down to the 200-day moving average for the for the measure target. That's how I see that one working out.
Uh, a couple long ideas that I've pointed out, uh, DVN. So this one again was on a breakout, a buy signal. Um, you had bullish divergence, you had a bullish falling wedge there, and you had the breakout right back here on you know early March. Um, since that breakout, if you take the breakout, this thing's run about 20% now. Um, so it's definitely played out to be a good trade. I don't see any negative divergence on the daily. The momentum's still relatively strong on the daily. Uh, the hourly is starting to show some negative divergence just now. You can see basically here on the hourly, it's just starting to show up. So I think we're likely due for a pullback here. Um, the trend is, the, I got this uptrend right here. So I think we could pull back to that uptrend. All right. And But as of right now, I don't see any negative divergence on the daily. So I still think it's a buy the dip stock. I do think there's probably a dip coming shortly. And again, NTR, this is a, they're fertilizer, so it's kind of an ag play. Uh, NTR, bullish divergence, clear uh, resistance level, all right? Resistance, lots of reactions on this one. And there's your breakout, you know, you've broken out. You got the 200, so I could see a pullback, but again, it's on breakout, so it should be by the dip from what I can tell. A couple more short ideas. Elf, so this one basically, you know, you had a big breakdown right to the this level of support or maybe like a zone of support, but it's at support, you know, right there. So I did cover my short um, as we hit that level and we're they're buying it today. So maybe a bounce, but again, it's on a, it's still on a sell signal. So I think rallies could be sold, but uh, yeah, we hit that first level of support. So it makes sense to see a bounce here and then a uh, continuation to the downside. SHW on a sell signal, you can see on this one, negative divergence, all right, bearish rising wedge, and impulsive breakdown with the gap down right there. So gap down, they tried to rally it up, it got rejected. This is on a sell signal. So I think we're heading down to 294.30-ish. The 200-day looks like it'll probably be right around there. So that's, for me, that's really the target on this one. I don't see too much more downside. There could be a lot more, but in general, I think that's a good target for this trade. And that would be from where we're at now, a drop of about 11% down to that support level. So I still like that one. And Qualcomm, this is a short setup, not an actionable trade yet, but we have negative divergence. You've got support, all right, support. Um, you know, several reactions there on support. Could probably even move this up. Let me just kind of tweak that. I think it's probably trading something like that. So we've got lots of reactions on that support with the divergence, but no sell signal, no breakdown. So we're waiting for that. So that's just on watch. Um, and that can continue to just do what it wants to do until we get that sell signal. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that. That's really all I have. I mean, there's lots of other short ideas I've really put out there. So if you guys you know want an update on a specific uh, stock, leave a comment below. You know, if you're in the private member group, I'll, I'll try to respond to those um, on updates on any trade ideas. Other than that, we're just going to continue to watch the markets, look for those opportunities, and I'll post things when I see them. Thanks, and catch you on the next one.